Okay, so welcome today to the free QR code creator tutorial. I'm going to show you how to generate your free QR code. First of all, you're going to go to huggingface.co. Then you're going to click on spaces and look for the QR code AI art generator, which is the one you want to use. And then you just simply generate your free QR code. Okay, so here we are in our model now on Hugging Face. Uh, we're on spaces, we've gone into QR code art generator. So here's the introduction at the top. We use the QR code image as the initial image and the control image, which allows you to generate QR codes that blend in very naturally with your provided prompt. The strength parameter defines how much noise is added to the QR code and the noisy QR code is then guided towards both your prompt and the QR code image via control net. So control net is the base of this again as well. We use that for our previous video, which you can see up here on the right as well on control net for creating your own uh, video animation. I wanted to create a link to my YouTube video. So here we go. Just go into my YouTube channel and I'm just going to select and copy the web address. So I just paste the web address straight into the QR code here and that's going to generate the link. Okay. And then we put the prompt in and the prompt is important on this one. I've put in create an award winning photo of a humanoid robot with intricate details. This is quite a complex prompt and you don't need to necessarily make such a complex prompt, but I always find that with the more complex ones, the better results are, but some of them can be quite simple too. Once you've added the prompt in here, that's perfect. You can see I've generated the image on the right there already. The negative prompt is already put in there and I suggest that you leave all of these parameters below. So leave the negative prompt, uh, but look, make sure the control net conditioning strength and guidance is all left the same. Don't bother changing the strength, the control net conditioning scale. Don't bother changing the seed. And then you simply just press run once everything's together. Okay, so you can see some of my prompts. I always save those in there. And this is the first one I did with the two robots. Then I've got my favorite one, which is um, kind of more of a mixture of a few robots together. It does tend to generate more than one image. So you have multiple images. You can see from the two robots here, we had some really intricate detail on the, on the helmet faces here. Um, but sometimes you lose a little bit in the body. So for instance, on this one on the right, you, you see there's no arms or legs. On the left one, it's a bit more controlled. And if we just scroll down a little bit further, you can see this one as well is, it's got kind of the body, it's got another piece coming out the top, it's kind of got hands for feet, so a bit confusing. And then this one is, uh, again, on the face, which you can't really see too good. And then sometimes the images get a little bit more distorted until you can't actually even read the QR code. So this is when I've been playing with the parameters and changing different settings, which of course you can do yourself, but I would suggest to stay with those parameters at the beginning until you get used to it. And you can see this is my favorite one here where I've got uh, an amalgamation of a few robots here, and we're gonna use this for our final design at the end. Okay, and here's some more examples here. We've created one for Van Buddy in the middle there with a fleet of vans parked in a parking lot ready to be rented in a photorealistic way. And I've got a few other examples there as well that we've done, but just got to try all the different images, really have a play with it. But like I said, it doesn't cost anything. It's just time. And the guys at Hugging Face have done a fantastic job to allow us to use that. Thanks for watching the video. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel for more AI related content and tips. And join me on the journey to unlock the potential of AI. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. All the very best. I'm Chris from The Voice of AI. Cheers and bye-bye now.